Hi everybody. Today I was going to talk about Forrest Fenn's uh, bronze bells that he created. Recently on February 4th, Jenny Kyle released her last six questions for Forrest Fenn. And there was a lot of speculation about Forrest Fenn stepping back from the limelight. You know, that could be so, but I don't think he is totally. When uh, Bob and I were there in September, the first thing when we went through his entryway and uh, he was taking us into his den area, he pointed to the, the entryway was lined both sides with these bronze bells that he made. And he pointed to him and he said casually to me, he goes, I have about 20 of those left to bury. So that makes me think that, you know, he still has plans to get out there and do some things. So he may be quiet on the uh, email or interviews or something, but I think he's still doing things out there behind the scenes. So I've thought of those bells ever since that day that we were there. I also noticed when we got inside of uh, Forrest Fenn's office, the den area, that his desk was lined with more of the bells. And I don't think these are ones that he's going to bury because there, I think there was maybe about eight of them. But one of them was like about like this big. You can see in the picture. So I just, I think these are ones that he'll probably keep for himself. Just, just my thought. I didn't ask him about it. In the thrill of the chase, Dancing with the Millennium, Forrest Finn said that he was creating these bells while his wife was watching Dancing with the Stars. Dancing with the Stars premiered back in 2005. So he was creating these bells back before he hid the treasure chest. I thought that was a little bit interesting. Was he hiding them back then? I don't know. I don't think I've found anything so far that said that he was hiding the bells before he hid the treasure chest, but kind of interesting to think about. A Gypsy's Kiss, AGK Media. They did a, a good video on this whole chapter. If you want to see that, I'll go ahead and put the link to that video below, but they have a lot of good information about that. Forrest Fenn had Tommy Hicks, who owned Shadoni Foundry in Tasuki, just outside of Santa Fe, um, cast his bronze jars. Uh, Forrest Fenn showed Tommy his secret technique, how to do the screw on lids. Before that, Tommy didn't know how to do it. So they were pretty good friends. I don't know if, uh, I think Tommy probably did the bronze bells also, but I didn't find Forrest Finn said anything about the bells. He just mentioned the jars. So Tommy and Forrest Finn were both from Texas. They both moved to Santa Fe around the same time. They were both veterans. So I'm sure they had a lot in common. Tommy just passed away in January of 2019. So that's just a little bit about Tommy. Forrest Finn said that he had signed and dated his bells. I did not see anything in any of the pictures so far that showed the signature or date. The only thing that I can go back on is when he said that his wife was watching Dancing with the Stars and he was creating these and the premiere was in 2005. So I know that he was making them back then. That's the only thing I know about the date. Two of the bells that are pictured in The Thrill of the Chase have uh, misspelled words. One is dollars and one is knowledge. RF Hecky, Susie, she did a video on this too, so I'll put the link to her video below. But um, did Forrest Finn really misspell? I don't think so, because Forrest told me that uh, he enjoys messing around with words, and a lot of times he does still get calls from people, and they say, oh, you made a mistake. And he said, I don't even bother to correct him anymore. He goes, I just go along with it. He, he really gets a kick out of it, actually, to tell you the truth just curious about how many bells that he made in total. I couldn't ever find the answer to that, but I did find an entry that um, Mysterious Writings on Jenny Kyle's site. I'll put a link below to that. But it was in 2014, I think, that Forrest Finn said that he had about 15 bells left to bury that summer. So 
you combine that with the 20 that he has in his entryway and that's 35 so we know at, le at least that he made 35 of those bells do you think Forrest Fenn kept track of where he buried all of his bells in jars I did find the answer to that on mysterious writings Jenny Kyle's website Forrest Fenn said that today he would be unable to locate where he buried all the bells in the jars so I'll put a link to that article below when AGK Media did their video on Dancing with the Millennium, they speculated whether or not Forrest Fenn put any extra information inside the bells or the jars that might give you hints and help you, lead you to the treasure. I did find an answer, kind of, on Jenny Kyle's website that said Forrest Fenn said he did not put any more information in the jars other than his autobiography. He did not mention the bells. There's a lot of people out there, myself included, that are curious if Forrest Finn buried any of the bells or jars in the area of the treasure chest. The bells are just about as well known as the treasure chest is. There are some people that think that one of the bells could even be the blaze. I personally don't think it is, but I don't have the treasure chest either. Um, he was saying that he buried them three feet deep because he wanted to make sure you couldn't find them with a metal detector. But today, they have metal detectors that could find something deeper than three feet. They're pricey, but it's possible that you could go out there and find them. I know that Rick McDonald, um, Illinois Ghost, that's one of the things that he always takes with him when he's out searching. And I think he even takes more than one out there. But... Um, we have a new metal detector that we're going to be taking out with us and when we do some of our travels but it i would just really enjoy finding one of those bronze uh bells or jars out there i think it would be so cool forrest ben said he buried the bells in the mountains and the desert and some of them on blm land in the thrill of the chase, the chapter Dancing with the Millennium, where Forrest Fenn talks about his bells, he only talks about New Mexico. And I thought that was kind of interesting. Do you think that he only buried the bells in the uh, jars in New Mexico? Um, do you think he went into the four treasure states of New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana? I also think that it's possible he could have ventured out farther than that and went into maybe Texas, Arizona, Utah. Those three states come to mind because we know that he's from Texas. He spent time in Arizona and Utah searching around. So, but all I can say is you see that that was a big part of Forrest Fenn's plan for a, a grander plan of things. Uh, plan to leave behind a legacy to make a name for himself he didn't just have just the treasure chest although that is a really big part of all of this you know he sprinkled around the bells and the jars and so even if the, ch the chest is found there's still all the bells and the jars out there that you can go out and find I'm just curious what do you guys think? You think there's some jars or bells in the area of the chest? Um, do you think that uh, somebody's going to find some of those jars or bells out there with the new technology, new metal detectors? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be interested to find out. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. If you should ever think of me a thousand years from now, please ring my bell so I will know. Forrest Fenn.